get a professional finish, you need to grout the tiles. Grout comes in a range of colours, but make sure that the grouting you use is appropriate for your tiles. Floor tile grout is available in powder and ready mix formats. Some tile adhesives are also used as grouts, and that's the one we'll be using today. To apply the grout, we're going to use a grout float. Before you start grouting, remove any surplus adhesive. Sweep or vacuum any debris away and check that none of the tile spaces are sticking up. Use the gauging trowel to take the grout from the tub and then work it into the joints using the grout float. Clean the surface of the tiles with the edge of the grout float as you go. Allow a little time for the surface of the grout to begin to set and then smooth off the grout lines with a grout finishing tool. Wipe off any excess grout with a damp cloth as you go. That's the grout applied. Now, depending on what grout you're using, you need to allow up to 24 hours for the grout to dry before polishing the tiles to remove any grout residue. Use a clean dry cloth for final polishing. To avoid scratching your new tiles, it might be an idea to wear knee pads and soft clothing. If there are any stubborn areas, you can use a cleaning agent, but it's important to ensure that the grout is fully dry before allowing any water contact. The next stage is to seal around the edges of the floor with a flexible sealant that matches the grout. This will help accommodate any movement or expansion between the wall and the floor. Work from one end of the skirt into the other, applying a continuous bead of sealant. Keep a steady pressure and speed. You can shape the sealant using a special sealant shaper or a wet, soapy finger, but always remember to wear gloves. Lay masking tape on both sides of the area you're going to seal to achieve a lovely finish and avoid any mess. Avoid using the floor if possible for at least 24 hours after grouting and sealing. And there it is, your new floor is finished and it looks great. For more ideas and know-how, visit DIY.com.